supplication and dua. Hadith number 1488, قال وعن Who is that, Jama'ah? Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas ibn Abdul Muttalib. Who is that? Who is he? The uncle of the Prophet. You know him, but it's just like, what, is he somebody else? It's the same one. That's the uncle of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. قال قلت يا رسول الله علمني شيئا أسأله الله تعالى. I said to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, O Messenger of Allah, he says, uh, um, I ask Allah Messenger to teach me a supplication to say. Like, teach me something I can ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's what he said. That's interesting, right? The uncle coming to the nephew. Who was older, by the way? Do you guys who was older? Rasulullah or Al Abbas? Huh? Rasulullah was older than Al Abbas. Actually, Al Abbas was older than Rasulullah by four years. Al Abbas was older four years uh, uh, you know, than Prophet Sallallahu And it's interesting how the adab of the people when they speak and they talk. So Al Abbas, one time he was asked, "Qalu ayu uh, ayukum akbar? Anta am Rasulullah? Who is akbar?" The word akbar can mean what, ya jama'a? Can be older or can be what? Greater. So it could be greater or could be older. So Al Abbas, he said, Huwa akbaru minni wa lakinni walidtu qabla. He says, He is akbar minni. But I was born before him. Which means he refers to the word akbar as being greater. Like he's saying, He is greater than me. But I was just born before him. So look at the other. He didn't want to say, no, I am akbar than him. Like somebody might say, he is greater. No, I'm not greater than Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He says, he is greater than me, but I was just born before him. Radiallahu ta'ala anu wa So Al-Abbas, he asked the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, teach me something that I can uh, uh, ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told him, he says, qala, sallallahu al-afiyah. He said, ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala for safety. It's Allah al-afiyah, ask for safety. That safety means what, Jama'a? Means in the dunya and the akhirah as well. Like you always ask Allah, Allahumma inni as'aluk al-afiyah. Allahumma as'aluk al-afwa wal-afiyah. Allahumma as'aluk al-afiyah. Al-afiyah actually means safety here. Qala famakathtu ayyama. So Al-Abbas, he said, I spent few days after that and then came back to him. Faqultu ya Rasulullah, allimni shayin, as'alu Allah ta'ala. I need to ask Allah something. How? You tell me something, I can ask Allah Azza wa Jal. So the Prophet says, Ya Abbas, Ya Abbas, he goes, Ya Amma Rasulullah, O uncle of the Messenger, Salu Allah al Afiyah fi dunya wal akhirah. Just ask Allah for safety for the, for the, in this dunya and in the akhirah. Like Al Abbas, probably he was looking for something else. He needed something else to ask. But the Prophet was giving him what? What he really needs the most. What you need the most is to be safe in this world. And in the hereafter, safety in the dunya means what? Safety in all aspects, health-wise, financial, uh, physical, family, uh, all these atrocities will happen in the world. You're just asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you safety during all these trials and all these people they go through. Safety in the hereafter, which is obviously is a greater safety that we have to worry about, is not to be thrown into the, fire, the, the hellfire. To be safe, to be in the people of paradise, al-Jannah. So that you don't have to go through the pain of a lot of people who go through, whether it's in the grave or the pain they go through when they are resurrected. By all the stages of the Day of Judgment, that's so difficult. So you're asking Allah for the protection in the dunya and in the akhirah. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa he invited us to say that frequently. For those who've been um, uh, with us on Zoom for the iftar time when we do our adhkar, one of the adkar of the Prophet وسلم, he would say, Allahumma inni as'aluka al-afwa fi al-afwa wa al-afya fi, fi, fi al-dini wa al-dunya. Oh Allah, I ask you afwa, which means forgiveness, and afya, safety, in my de- in, in, de- in deen and dunya. And then he said, Allahumma inni as'aluka al-afwa wa al-afya fi al-dunya wa al-akhirah. Ya Allah, I ask you safety in this world and the world to come. Allahumma inni as'aluka al-afwa wa al-afya fi dini wa dunya wa ahli. And my family, wa mali, my money, my wealth, fi ahli wa mali. And you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect you from above, from underneath, from your right side, from your left side, like you're seeking safety and protection from all aspects of your life. You know, sometimes you'll be moving on with your life, and Allah Musta'an, you'll be hit on the left side without even noticing that. 
like a calamity comes, a, a test comes, a trial comes, and you just wasn't even prepared for it. But it just comes, you know, left field, and just like, subhanAllah, where this is coming? I wasn't prepared for that. Allah al-Musta'an. And that's one of the dua, some of the dua that we learned before, when the Prophet says, Ta'awwadu Billah Azawad, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's protection, ask refuge with Allah Azawad from what? He says, وَمِن مَوْتِ الْفُجَاءَ Sudden death. Or to be tested suddenly. Like I wasn't prepared. I was, alhamdulillah, doing everything is okay. And then suddenly a trial hits this person. Whether it's illness, loss of a job, or whatever, whatever they could do to go through. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from all these trials, Ya Rabbil Alameen. So this dua is very, very simple. And it's asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for safety in the dunya and in the akhirah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa did not mention the dua himself. But he asked Abbas to ask for it. So the way we ask for it is by saying, Allahumma inni as'aluka al-afwa wal-afya fi dini wa dunya fi dunya wa al-akhirah. So we're going to repeat that, inshallah ta'ala. Allahumma inni as'aluka al-afwa wal-afya fi dini wa dunya wa fi dini wa akhirati. Allahumma inni as'aluka العافية في الدنيا والآخرة اللهم إني أسألك العافية في الدنيا والآخرة اللهم إني أسألك العفو والعافية في الدنيا والآخرة May Allah give us all safety and protection in this dunya and the akhirah رب العالمين Any question يا جماعة Yes So, or is your question how the Prophet Sassam knew the individual needs of the people, or you can you tell how what individual need of people? No, no. What I'm saying is probably he knows, you know, based on you know education that probably that's what the individual needs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what the ulama they say actually in the hadith. So the question is, uh, if the Prophet Sassam truly, when he says these du'as, does he really give the person an individual case, individual du'a, because he knew that's what he needed the most? Probably. Because there are multiple ahadith, the Prophet Sassam, people come to him and ask him questions, and he gave a very unique answer to them. Like when a man asked him, who is the most uh, uh, entitled to my best companionship? The Prophet Sassam said, your mother. And the man, he insisted on knowing more. He goes, who comes next? And the Prophet says, your mother. He kept insisting, and the Prophet kept saying, your mother, your mother, three times, and then he said, your father. So the ulama, they said, the Prophet gave this answer deliberately because he probably, he knew that maybe this person, that's what he needed the most. Someone else comes to the Prophet says, Ya Rasulullah, tell me something I need to do. And, you know, give me advice. The Prophet says, don't get angry. And the man, he thought it was too short. Or maybe it's not what he was asking for. But he said, what else I can do? He said, don't be angry. And then he went three times. And the Prophet kept saying, don't be angry. Which means this person probably, that's what he needed the most. Uh, someone else comes to the Prophet and says, Ya Rasulullah, you know, Shara' al-Islam There are so many things I, I, I can do in this deen, but there are too many, I, I'm, I'm lost. Tell me one thing I can hold on to that will bring me close to Allah, take me far away from Jahannam. And the Prophet told him, keep your, your tongue moist, remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So yeah, sometimes the Prophet gives that individual answer. However, to us today, do we say that's not for me, that's for him? No, our ulama, they say, when it comes to the Prophet instruction to people, we go by umum al-sabab, umum al-lafad la bi khusus al-sabab, which means the generality of the text, not by the exclusivity of the occasion. So the, the occasion is exclusive to this man who asked the question. But obviously the generality of the text from the Prophet ﷺ is inclusive, so, so it's for everybody. Wallahu alam. Naam. Khair inshallah ta'ala. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik. Ashra la ilant astaghfiruka wa tubarik. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.